I'm Jack Ross, workshop leader. I've been the workshop leader on this project here at Netherhall School. The project's been about the elements. We've been thinking about earth, water, fire and air. And we've written some songs and we've written some instrumental pieces. Had a lot of fun kind of jamming and busking with every single person in this school. I think we've met every single person in school. So we worked with the young people to generate words and music. I was in the sessions with Dave, Dave Air, big Dave Air, who plays the double bass, and Matt Dunn, who is a clarinetist, and we three, along with Marianne, have been in, in the sessions um, working with the children. Yes, they've generated the ideas, uh, told us what to do as well. So, so Dave would say, well, you know, that's all very well. You want to write a song about water, but what do you want me to play on my double bass? And he would be told. He would be told what to play or asked what to play. Um, so we, we've literally made the pieces with the children we've been working with, which has been fantastic. I'm Erica Dennis and I'm head teacher of another school, another whole school here. I've been head teacher for a long time now and we've always really enjoyed music at Netherhall and it's always been a really important part of our curriculum and what we do. So the idea of doing a project with, with an orchestra seemed really interesting. Um, and when I went to the first meeting um, with all the different agencies that were involved, it seemed quite complex and there was lots of funding and I wasn't really sure what the end product was going to be like. But what I wanted it to do was involve all of the children in the school and touch all of the children in the school. I didn't want it to just be a project that was a, about the children who were the best at music or the most interested in music. So this project has been special because it feels like it's been completely driven by the children and young people in the school. So we, we started with a project meeting with the head teacher and, and the um, funding agencies involved and the musicians and Jack and planned how we wanted to work with all of the children and have all the children involved in, in an experience. I've been really impressed by the way that the children's ideas have been the centre of everything. So last week, for example, I came in and worked with the young people who did the fire piece and it was evident that from the beginning they've had the ideas, they've made the decisions about who started the piece, how the piece would evolve. I've also been really impressed with the way Jack's taken their ideas and developed them and orchestrated them and involved the whole um, orchestra in that. I'm Dominic Wheeler, I was the conductor for this project. Um, we just came in with the orchestra today, uh, so they've been working for a long time. Jack, who'd been leading the workshops, had uh, arranged a load of material for us. We'd picked a few pieces, classical pieces, that we were going to play as part of the programme. And we just did a quick rehearsal on our own this morning and then we came in and worked with the kids. What really impressed me was that they were completely, they were really excited by hearing a live orchestra but not phased by it at all. They'd been really well prepared, they were really confident. What I loved was they clearly developed a really good relationship with, with Jack and Dave and Matt from the orchestra who were uh, playing with them. And um, they were just really open and excited and fun to deal with. You know, they just, they just it's the kind of thing that for, for those of us that do it professionally, it's just so refreshing because they have such a, an enthusiasm and an openness about it. it reminds you kind of why you fell in love with music in the first place, if you know what I mean. So we did, um, we did their songs, we showed them the films, we played them some music that we were going to play in the concert as well, so they kind of knew what was happening. Um, we had a bit of fun teaching them how to bow and how to stand up together and sit down together and all those kind of things. And then we had a little break and then we, had, then we did the concert. And what was great about the concert was that they were just as kind of easy and open. It wasn't like they were nervous at all or anything like that. They just uh, were really generous as they have been the whole time. And the guys who've been working here on the project have all been saying that, you know, they're really struck by how generous and warm the kids are, how dedicated the staff are. And you can really see that. You can really see that the kids feel looked after and loved and supported and, and um, even this morning just sort of dealing with singing with an orchestra and realising that they could do that and all that you see them grow in confidence a bit more and then there's a performance and they grow in confidence a bit more and that has to be what it's all about I think so yeah it's been really fun for us the concert was I mean it's a lot of material with the films we had these films that had music that we had to kind of fit to the films which was 
sort of a bit challenging in a few places suddenly for a very short notice. And then the songs with the kids, which, which Jack had been just done the arrangements for. They were, he was literally finishing them on the way up on the train this morning. So, so it's all kind of a bit like that. But, uh, but it came out really well and we had a lot of fun and we're looking forward to uh, seeing all the children again tomorrow at Montfort Hall. With the performance that we saw this afternoon, it demonstrated that it had touched everybody. There was the films, remarkable films, um, of children's faces and how that they were engaging, not just with the instruments, but with the, with the musicians as well, and how much just joy they were getting from, um, from working with the musicians. The compositions that had been created from the sounds and the little pieces of music that, that our children had made to the choir um, and then working in, um, alongside an orchestra and then just to the audience who sat for an hour and, and were absolutely mesmerised, totally mesmerised, children who would not have stayed in the hall for an hour with the best will in the world were completely lost with that and lots of staff have come to me afterward and said that was amazing so and so was just absolutely loved it so it is touched every child in the school, it's touched staff who've had the opportunity to work alongside the musicians as well. Um, and it's just been a joy, it's been fantastic. Mm -hmm.